Hello everyone, my name is Ian Lamont. I am the author of Google Drive and Google Docs in 30 minutes. Today I'm gonna to be talking about how to create a new document in the mobile app for Google Docs on iOS. So this would be for an iPhone or an iPad. And right now what we're looking at is the Google Docs app on my iPhone. I've tilted the iPhone so it looks across, it's a landscape view. And what I wanna to do to get started is instead of opening up one of the existing files that I have, which you can see right here, I am going to hit the plus icon in the lower right corner. So let's tap that. Gives you two options, choose template. So a template might be something like a resume template or a letter template or an invoice template. Google Docs has a whole bunch of those, even on the mobile version. So you can use those to get started if you don't know how to format it. But if you, pretty, if you know what you wanna do and you're comfortable with using Google Docs formatting options, you can just click new document. That's what I'm gonna do right now. It will ask you to, to name the new document. So let's just call this test. Okay, uh, test in December and then tap Create. All right, so we're all set to go here, and I can start typing right away, and, right, and I can do something like a, uh, you know, let's see, a book report. Whoops. Actually, one thing that happens with, when you have a small screen, it's hard to type, and I have big thumbs. Whoops, I want to do book report. But you can just go through and start adding text that way, adding text manu manually. Um, but an easier way to do it, actually, if you're using an iPhone or iPad, maybe, and you don't have a wire wireless keyboard, instead of using your thumbs to type, you can actually use the dictation feature of the iPhone. So you'll see a little microphone icon somewhere in the keyboard. Tap that. You could actually go through and start uh, dictating the dictating the uh, text of my book report or a letter or whatever it may be, and then when you're ready to start formatting it, there's you can see a whole bunch of different options that are right there, uh, the toolbar. Now this of course is not as sophisticated as the options that you might see in. Whoops, I'm trying to get that whole thing here. Yeah. It's not as sophisticated as what you might see in the desktop version of Google Docs, but still you can do some basics pretty well. So I just highlighted book report and I wanna give that a different formatting. And you can see I can bold it. I can italicize it, underline it. I can do things like change the color, but um, you, know, you get the idea. There's a whole bunch of different options right there. And I would go through and start updating that. And then because it's Google Docs, it'll be updated automatically over the internet connection, assuming that you have a, a live internet connection. And then from there, you can share it with people. You can also do things like uh, start to edit it in another computer with the same account, etc. One thing to keep in mind, when you are all done typing, just scroll to the top of the document. You'll see a little check mark in the upper left corner. Tap that, that will save it, okay? And then if you wanna, uh, continue editing, you would tap the pencil icon again and the keyboard would pop up and you could, you could get going that way. For more information on how to get the most out of Google Drive and Google Docs, including the mobile apps and the desktop version, check out my book, Google Drive and Docs in 30 minutes, available from in30minutes.com. And thank you so much for watching.